Hi, my name is Kathleen Fay, and I'm a language arts resource teacher for Fairfax County Public Schools. More importantly, I am a parent of an elementary student and middle school student. Like many of you, I am working from home at the same time that my, student, my children are now learning from home. We're all trying to balance responsibilities while keeping things as normal as possible for our children. A few parents have reached out because they're worried about their child's academic progress, worried that they aren't doing enough or that their child might fall further behind, or wondering, should they be teaching X or Y? These are all valid concerns. My hope is that in this conversation, I can talk with you about a few simple things you can do when reading with your children at home and hopefully relieve some stress. As literacy teachers, our main goal during this time is to keep children engaged with text and for the children to enjoy the experience of reading. So how can you help? I'll discuss two ideas, providing choice and listening to your children, to your child talk about books. First, let's talk about choice. When we let kids choose what they read, how they read, and if needed, provide them choice in the time that they read, it helps motivate them. It also helps them learn to make decisions about themselves as readers. We can allow children to choose which story to listen to on YouTube or from Myon or from another platform that the county has or from a stack of books that you have on the shelf. Students may choose to reread a favorite book for five days in a row or reread that favorite series or read a graphic novel or only read the pictures one day or to read something that seems too easy. All these are okay. Children can also choose how they read. They may read by themselves under the covers or with you supporting them by reading aloud to them or allowing them to listen to something on a device. All those are valid opportunities. Whether you are reading to your child or if your child is listening to a story on a phone or a laptop or on TV, they're getting something out of this experience. They're hearing a fluent reader and they're freed up from the decoding work to think about the story and to comprehend it. Next, in choosing when to read. So most children benefit from a schedule or a routine, knowing that this is the time we're gonna read each day or these are the days we're gonna read during the week. However, if you're getting resistance, ask students, ask students, ask your children for input on a time. In my family, we started with a specific time during the day that we were gonna read, but eventually that moved to us reading right before bed and that's working out just fine. The second thing I'd like to offer is this, this idea of talk. Talking about what we read helps us articulate our ideas and to express opinions. Think about yourself for a moment after reading a book or binging on a series on Netflix or watching a movie. You probably want to talk to someone afterwards. You probably want to tell a friend if you've seen a bad movie, explaining why you thought it was so bad. If you saw a great series, you'll have reasons to recommend it to a friend. Whether we're reading a story or whether we're watching a story, we're doing all sorts of comprehension work, and that's the same with children. The talk that we do around that is supporting that comprehension work. So to talk with kids we don't, about books, we don't need a set of magical questions to ask them, to encourage them to talk. We just need to ask genuine questions. It helps to just ask what you're wondering. What'd you think about the ending? Would you read another book by that author if you could? What did you decide to read today? Do you want help picking what you're going to read today? If your child's in the middle of a book, you might ask, what did you think about that part? Or what's happening now? Or what do you think might happen next and why? If they've just finished a book, you might just ask them, what did you think? Were you surprised? Would you have done it that way? If your child is starting to read a new book and they, and they want to read it independently, you might spend some time talking about the cover with them reading the back or the inside cover. If it's a picture book, you could flip through a few pages and share what you're noticing and then send your reader off to read. So giving children a chance to talk with us about a book that they read or a movie that we've watched together, even if it's for the fifth time, even a sports event, that connects to reading because we, those who are talking, are learning how to test out our theories. We're connecting ideas from one thing to the next and we decide what we think about someone else's ideas when we have those conversations. Lastly, I want to reassure you that when we return to school, 
our priority will be to figure out where each student is as a reader and go from there. It'll be to catch students up no matter where they are. That's our job. In the meantime, please reach out to us. Reading teachers, classroom teachers, resource teachers, librarians, school-based technology specialists, we're all available to help provide resources and ideas to families. So that's it. Be flexible, be kind to yourselves, enjoy those little moments with your kids, and take care. Thank you.